The principles in this video are for illustrative purposes only. This video is for the limited purpose of demonstrating the dangers of improperly installing ESFR pendant sprinklers. It in no way reflects upon the performance of the sprinklers if properly installed. Follow the manufacturer's directions for proper installation and application at your sites. Any obstruction below pendant early suppression fast response or ESFR sprinklers may interfere with the proper performance of the sprinkler. NFPA 13 paragraph 8.12.5.3.3 states that ESFR sprinklers need to be positioned a minimum of one foot horizontally from the nearest edge to any bottom cord of a bar joist. This testing will try to visually demonstrate the relative severity of the obstruction based on various horizontal distances to the ESFR sprinkler. Our first demonstration is to position the edge of the bottom cord of the bar joist about two inches away from the edge of the ESFR deflector. The bottom cord of the bar joist is 3.75 inches wide. The ceiling height in the Liberty Mutual Property Fire Lab is 10 feet high. In a 30-foot or 40-foot high building, the effects of the obstruction would be more pronounced. The cone-shaped wedge formed by the obstruction grows larger at the floor as the roof height increases. In this next demonstration, the horizontal distance is 4 inches. This is the 6-inch horizontal distance. This is the 8-inch horizontal distance. We will compare this to the 12-inch distance, which is considered no obstruction. This is the 10-inch horizontal distance. We will compare this to the 12-inch distance. The point of reference for no obstruction is this 12-inch horizontal distance. The next tests show the ESFR upright sprinkler, which may be installed above continuous, ungrouped obstructions up to four inches wide. This sprinkler has a special deflector that directs some water into the zone directly below the sprinkler and the obstruction by water spray turbulence and water collecting on and dropping from the bottom of the branch line. The first test is with the bottom cord of the bar joist located two inches horizontally from the edge of the sprinkler deflector. In the second, the horizontal distance is four inches. Thank you.